President Trump is plunging the country into chaos, throwing a temper tantrum, and creating the Trump shutdown of the government. Democrats and Republicans are not seeing eye to eye, and that means we could be headed for a government shutdown in less than 24 hours now. We need the wall. The Democrats know it. Everybody knows it. Here's the deal. The president wants $5 billion from Congress by Friday for his border wall, or he's threatened a government shutdown. So what does that mean? Who's impacted? Well, 420,000 essential federal employees would have to work without getting paid. And 380,000 more federal employees would be furloughed without pay just days before Christmas. Mr. President, we're going to back you up. The president tweeted Thursday morning when he begrudgingly signed the last funding measure, quote, I was promised the wall and border security by leadership would be done by end of year. Now, it didn't happen. Shutdown fears are impacting the stock market. The plan to keep the government open through February 8th appeared to be a done deal. All in favor say aye. 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 Passing the Senate Wednesday night, but lawmakers in the House and other conservatives told the president, not so fast. When Nancy Pelosi is speaker, do we really, I'm supposed to believe, we're supposed to believe that we're then going to build the border security wall and keep our promise from the 2016 campaign? No way. And late tonight, House Republicans passed a short-term funding bill with more than $5 billion for President Trump's border wall. Democrats already call it a no-go. In terms of wall funding, that's a non-starter. I think they know that.